The floods in the Derwent Valley in Yorkshire began to go down today. It's still expected to be the weekend at the earliest before people flooded out can go home and they can see about getting trains running again. ITN's Colin Baker is there tonight and has the latest. It's going away slowly, but it's not over yet. The Derwent is still on red alert tonight. The rail link may open at the weekend if there's no more rain, but for those householders forced to evacuate, they've still to return and count the cost. The Environment Agency says it hopes the waters will noticeably subside by the weekend, but there may be problems in villages downstream as the flood recedes. The Floods Minister, Elliot Morley, came to view today. Are you all right up there? Good. He said he was satisfied with the alert system that warned of the flood. I do believe that the warning system did work. There may be the odd person who was missed out, and of course that's something we'll have to look at. So are you blaming the people for not taking notice rather than giving them an adequate warning? I'm not blaming anybody, but what I'm saying to you is that I believe that the, the warning system worked and the warnings were given in time for people to take action. There's no doubt that here in Malton in the last 24 hours the levels have dropped by at least a foot. The new problem is that more heavy rain is forecast. It won't add to the flood water that's already here. It just means it'll take longer to disappear. Colin Baker, ITN, North Yorkshire. Good evening. Hundreds of North Yorkshire families are still in temporary accommodation as the floodwaters refuse to recede. And a visit from a government minister today brought further misery for anyone who may have been caught without adequate insurance cover. He said there'll be no extra cash for those hit by the floods. In Malton, the floodwaters are still high. The emergency services still on hand to lend a hand. This man had to be helped to the rescue boat. It's problem, he'd run out of fresh water in his upstairs flat and he needed a shower. The main thing is the power stayed on. Obviously, if that had gone off, it would have been a lot more awkward and I would have probably had to move out earlier than this, but uh, no, it's not, not been that at all. And, and what about the service uh, the firemen and police have been giving you? Oh, very good. They've been round every day, you know, two or th well, more than two or three times, saying, are you all right, is there anything you need? Meanwhile, John Greenway on the left was in town to advise the government minister, Elliot Morley, on the current situation. After assessing the water levels, the minister admitted that their flood action plan will need a rethink and the government's stance on individual compensation was clear. There'll be none. For the farmers, for the businesses, for the homeowners, will there be extra government cash? We can't give cash for, ins <coughs> for insurable risk. It's, it's not a, a provision of government, it never has been. There were some, it does appear that there were some households in areas which were, have not been flooded before who did not get a warning. Now, obviously, we need to look at the system. Uh, we need to, to investigate where, the, if there was some failings in the system, how we can rectify that and make sure that doesn't happen again.